So in the recent Blender update of Blender version 4.1, there has been a change to the shade auto smooth feature. So in versions earlier than 4.1, you could right click to bring up the object context menu and then there was the shade smooth, the shade flat, and then there was a shade auto smooth. Well in Blender version 4.1, the shade auto smooth has been changed to shade smooth by angle. And this feature does work a little bit differently. So I have this cylinder here for an example. I'm going to bring up the object context menu and shade smooth by angle and you can see it appears as though it's doing the same thing as the shade auto smooth so you can see that these faces around here are smooth because the angle is quite small but then this edge here is quite sharp However, if I go into edit mode, you can see that Blender has added these sharp edges here and they're being displayed by these blue lines in edit mode. Now, if I just use this monkey head for another example, after you use the shade smooth by angle, there's gonna be this setting right here, which you can open up and then you can actually change the angle amount. So I can drag the angle amount to zero. Now you can see everything is shaded flat or I can turn it way up and that's gonna work similarly as the shade auto smooth. And I can turn it up to change the angle of which faces I want to be shaded smooth. Now you can see that even if I turn the angle all the way up to 180, some of them are still shaded flat. So if you want to shade more of the angle smooth, I could uncheck the keep sharp edges and now I can just drag this angle and it's going to affect all of the edges of the faces. And you can see if I go into edit mode, you can see again, it's added these sharp edges here, which are shown by the blue lines. Now, if you want to manually add these blue lines, let me just go back to object mode. I'm going to go back to this cylinder here and I'll go into edit mode. So if you want to manually add these, you can select the entire mesh in edit mode and you can press control E. So when you press control E, that'll bring up the edge settings and you can choose to mark sharp or control E again, and you can choose to clear sharp. So let me just go back to object mode and I will just use the shade smooth. So everything is shaded smooth. Now to add those edges, I could go into edit mode and I could hold down the alt key and select that loop of vertices there. And then again, control E and we're going to mark sharp. If I go back to object mode, you can see it's now added the sharp edge there, but the rest of it is smooth. So as well as the shade auto smooth being changed, there has also been a modifier added to get the same effect. So right here I have a cube and then I have a bevel on that edge of the cube. So what I'm going to do is click on add modifier and I'm going to search for smooth and you can see there is a smooth by angle modifier. So when I add the modifier, you can see it looks like it's not doing anything. That's because I need to again use the object context menu by right clicking and then click shade smooth. And now you can see we get the shade auto smooth effect. So this round spot here is smooth, but then these edges are flat. And then there is an angle which you can change. So if I turn the angle down to zero, now everything is flat. Or if I just turn the angle up a little bit, then just these faces here are going to be smooth. But if I, for example, turn this angle value up higher than 90, I'll just turn it to like a 91. Now you can see because this angle here is 90 degrees, because the angle is turned to 91 past 90, it's now going to shade that smooth but if I turn the angle down smaller than 90 now you can see that edge there is shaded flat. Now going back to this monkey head here, you can see this monkey head I've already shaded smooth by angle. So you can see in edit mode, there are some hard edges. So if I now go to add modifier, I'm going to search for the smooth by angle. You can see that if I turn the angle up more and more, you can see there are still some edges where it is sharp. And so if you want the modifier to ignore the hard edges, which you've added, you can just click on the ignore sharpness. And now I can turn this up more and more and everything will become smooth. Whereas before, if I turn the ignore sharpness off, these parts here are still going to remain sharp because you can see in edit mode they have been set to a sharp edge. So I hope you found this video helpful and thank you for watching. And if you're a beginner to Blender and you'd like to learn all the basic fundamentals of Blender, then definitely check out my Blender for Complete Beginners tutorial series. Link to that is in the description. But I hope this was helpful and thank you for watching.